Hi, this is Tony from todolisthome.com. In this video today, I wanted to show you the ravage that the squash vine borer has done to many of my squash plants and the efforts I'm taking to combat them and hopefully still get some squash produced out of my gardens this year. So come, let's take a look. I'll show you the damage that they've done, the repairs I'm making to get rid of them, extract them out of the plants, and prepare the plants for producing more squash. It's only the beginning of August. No use to give up now. So over here, we have a squash plant that just started to produce real well. We got about four good yellow squash out of this plant, and then the leaves started to turn brown and dead. And last night, when I came in, looked in here, you see where my vine's being attacked. So I'm gonna open this up a little bit, cut away, um, see if we can save what hasn't been eaten, and we'll see if we can find the uh, vine borers themselves, the critters responsible for this. Now, what I actually had to do is, uh, this end just came off, the part that was in the ground just came right off. So I'm gonna go ahead and replant this into the ground and see if that'll spark some life and create any changes. In my other tools for the day, in here we have some water, neem oil, and a little bit of dish soap to make it bubbly and hold it together. And then in the blue bucket we have some fish emulsion mixed in with water. We'll go ahead and spray down this root here with a little bit of the neem oil dish soap mixture. Put it in the ground, cover it with more compost, and then water it down. As you can see, I had to cut a lot of the plant away and uh, put in fresh compost around the base. And since I've never dealt with this problem before, I'm bringing out all kinds of useful, I'm bringing out all kinds of useful things such as Quick Solutions 101010 Garden Food. Wouldn't normally do this, but this calls for it. So this is how much I ended up cutting off of the uh, vine to begin with. And it's spread quite a, quite a bit of ways, a couple of feet at least on the ground. It's all firmly planted in the rest of the way, so we covered up where the vine borer were attacking. Got it all nice and watered down, put some nutrients in there, and covered it with a layer of leaves to help keep the moisture in, and we'll see what it looks like in a couple of weeks. As we see here, there's a little squash coming up, so we'll see if the effort was worthwhile. Okay, this is the second plant we'll be inspecting today. And see, we've got these funny little squash coming in, but the other ones seem to be coming in fine. And when we look at the root here, we see that it's all chewed up inside. We're going to do the same thing here. And that's just going to fall apart right like that. We're going to cut it up all the way to where it's dead. This thing, that's not even a squash there. So that comes right off like that. You see how easily these things can do damage to a home vine. And then if you don't have much space to begin with, boy, that's two or three months you've lost out on already. So we're going to cut this open a little bit and see what we can find inside. Okay, so we can see the squash vine borer, what's um, left of him right there. It's there with the black head, right where my uh, finger's pointing, right there. Okay, cut him in half as I was digging through here. So we're going to do the same thing, we're going to bury this up and uh, see if we can get any life back in us. Okay, and this is what a uh, skewered squash vine borer looks like. I'm going to take a look at this plant again. See if you had any brothers or sisters in there. And uh, same fate will come to him. This is what's left of the, the plant that I completely pulled last night. Might not have had to pull it in retrospect, but that's took up a good, almost a two and a half square foot area right in there. Over here I had a zucchini that never developed over time. Had another uh, 
good zucchini plant going on in here. And uh, yeah, yeah, we take a look here. Yep, yeah, we take a look here, and we see that this one's being attacked too. Boy, there's a lot of work. I might not be able to get to all these today. So I've still got maybe three plants in the front to check. And we can see here that this uh, squash vine borer, I don't know if that's one or two. Um, looks like one big meshy one. But that's what's done all this damage here. This whole thing ought to be pitched. I don't... I don't know where I can salvage from that. I just ended up pulling that zucchini and here I've got one vine here that's still doing very well. Um, got an attack, I think I might have caught the infestation early. That's what we're trying to save. There's more in here as we look around. So there's some reasoning for doing this and we just have to uh, be careful and monitor. Okay, there's the stem for this other plant. Let's just see how this looks, okay? Because this is looking pretty susceptible right now. So we're going to cover that up. I'm going to dig in here a little bit, see if I find anything, and then I'm going to cover it up. 